If folks got a message about salvation from the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, ma'am. And so baptism is not essential for salvation. No. No. So what is it? It's just as much of work as anything. It is. It is. It's just as much of work as anything. The thing, guys, is in Colossians, what does it say about? Okay. Jesus was baptized. Did yes. Jesus need to be saved? But he couldn't be baptized into Christ for the remission of his sins because he had no sin. So he was baptized to fulfill all righteousness. Right. He gave that's us an example. Right. Yes. The uh, thief on the cross, was he well, baptized? Okay, and I know that always comes up, but he... That's, that's point blank. It, you're right. What yeah. law was he under? Laws, the law has always been the same. The God, God preached the gospel unto Abraham. It doesn't matter. Did God yes, not preach the gospel unto Abraham? Yes, it does. Were, were the Jews justified? By faith. Was Israel justified by, faith, by the law? Exactly. In the old law, yes. They were justified it by says, the law, even though Paul said... No, 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 they weren't justified by the law. Okay. No, they were justified by their faith. Right. Exactly. Yes. All men. And we all are. Right. Yes. Faith, not but faith. But faith is obedient faith, not just a belief. I understand that, but faith comes first. Christ's will. I follow His word. Dear yeah, ma'am, got a gospel track for you. I follow Thank God's you. Word today. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. He made a change in me. I used to love sin. I used to love rebellion. I used to love witchcraft, drunkenness, revelings. I used to love lying and stealing. I was a murderer in my heart. I used to love pornography. But when God saved me, He changed me and made me a new creature. I hate those things now, and I love righteousness. I love living according to the Word of God. Repentance is a work as well, right? No, it's not. It's a gift from God. Is... It is a gift from God. You cannot repent on your own. I repentance can't turn comes from my ways and turn to you God. Can, you can my try life. to, but you can't have a true Holy Ghost repentance towards your sin to turn to God. That is a gift from God. It says godly sorrow leads to repentance. Repentance and faith are both a gift to God. Sir? Repentance and faith are both gifts from God. Hey, sir, how you doing? My name's PJ. I want you to know that Jesus Christ can save you from your sin. He can save you. He can make you a new creature. Sure. <clears throat> well, one or two things will happen to you when you take take your last breath. You will either die and you'll enter into the presence of the King, Jesus Christ, in heaven, or you will die and spend an eternity in the lake of fire where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. We want everyone to know that they can receive forgiveness of sin where they can die one day. When they die, they can receive eternal life in heaven for all of eternity because they confess their sins to Christ. And Christ redeemed them from all their iniquity. You see, do you understand? We want you to be saved. Church ain't gonna save you, sir. You'll still you'll still you'll still die in your sin and go to hell because those are good works. There's nowhere in the Bible that tells you that you're gonna go to yeah, there is. The Bible says that there. The Bible says that many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then Christ will look at them and say, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. He says the spirit belongs to me. <clears throat> right, and He gives a spirit to us when we repent. Have you repented, sir, of your sin? When did you repent of your sin and turn to Christ? No, we don't have to be combative with Katie Frick. <coughs> well, he needs to be born again, my friend. No, he doesn't. Repent, turn to Christ. We're all just the way that hey, ladies, got a gospel track for you about the Lord Jesus Christ. And many there be which go in their eyes. Same so, as obedient faith. Okay, so is, obe so is it obedience to the working of the law or by the hearing of faith? It's the obedience of faith that we obey what he says. No, no, to. no, it's the obedience of the law or by the hearing of faith. Was Abraham justified by faith or by the works of the law? Yes, all of that. It's in Hebrews 11. It says, by faith Abraham, right. by faith Noah did something. Right. Now, faith produces works. Okay. Yes, Ephesians sir. chapter 2, verse number 10. Okay, We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. So when are our sins forgiven? Our sins are forgiven when we confess. The Bible says if we confess our sins. If folks got a gospel track for you, about the Lord Jesus Christ. Many people die and go to hell. Many, the Bible says. Okay, but baptism was never necessary for salvation, ever. Old, New so Testament, it doesn't matter. Never. So all of the examples in the New Testament, in Acts. Do you know God's Word? When's the last time you read your Bible? Where's your Bible at right now? Is it in the back seat of your car? No. Is it collecting dust? Why don't you talk to us right now? We'd love to talk to you about the Word of God, the truth. Paul said, Paul said that he was not sent to baptize, but to preach the gospel. In yes, Corinthians exactly. I agree with that completely. So, Jesus, and how many, how many people did, how many of Jesus' converts did he baptize? Did Jesus, Jesus it said baptize? none. none. So, if baptism was important for salvation, why didn't Jesus baptize any of his converts? You know, his disciples baptized, but he didn't even, yeah. he didn't even baptize. Now, the Messiah didn't even baptize, but he did preach everything that we needed to know. How can you escape the damnation of hell? What does that mean? Thank you. How can you escape the damnation of hell? That's what Jesus asked the Pharisees. 
he questioned them and he said, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? He called them hypocrites and liars. How do we get away from Acts 2.38? How do we get away from all of the things? Bapti there's, there's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That okay, so you believe the, that's about Okay, so that's that what is when okay. the church received authority. Okay. okay, Jesus said that there would be another comforter. He told his church that. Remember, in in, in uh, at the end of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, at the end of the Gospels, when yes. he when he appeared to them again, he said, "I will send you another comforter." Okay, before he ascended to the apostles, to the apostles, yes. right there at, in the room. Okay, and, we'll, and then he told them, he said, "I will send another comforter." That comforter was the Holy Ghost upon the authority, given the authority to the church. That was in Acts chapter two. Yes. Remember? Yeah. At Pentecost. Yeah. Okay. That was the authority. Okay. How you doing, sir? Got a message about salvation? Got one. All right. Have a good day. Say. Baptism is the answer of a good conscience toward God. Now, it is the answer. Baptism is the answer. That's how you answer, okay, God. Now, where do you get the good conscience? Okay. So you're saying that when you repent and you confess, then you're saved. When you repent and confess and put your God faith in Christ for salvation. If I don't get baptized, then it doesn't matter. I'm if saying. you died, if you repent of your sin and put your faith in Christ and you got hit in the, by a car that night, you go be with the You're Lord. Okay. Right. See, that's the thing about the thief on the cross. It, Jesus promised him, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Yeah. Now, either Jesus was lying to him. Well, no, or, because Jesus could, see, like, the when it says in Romans 6 that we're buried with Christ in baptism, that we were united with him in his death, mm -hmm. right? That we were crucified with him. So the thief on the cross, Jesus wasn't dead yet. Right. So he couldn't have been baptized into the death of Christ. He couldn't have been united with the death of Christ. The thief, Jesus no, was still alive. No, but John the Baptist was baptizing before Christ. Even yes, but died. unto repentance. Right. Not in the cross. Right. So they had to be rebaptized into the cross. Well, yeah. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but, but the th please but, don't use the thief on the cross because that's not. But see, but see, John the Baptist. But see, John the Baptist told the Pharisees that he said, "Bring ye therefore fruits meet for repentance." Yeah, he told the Pharisees he that. was preparing those fruits, a way. Meet, those fruits meet for repentance was evidence of salvation. That's what they were. That's what was required of the Pharisees to show fruits meet for repentance before he would even baptize them. You see, see, John the Baptist was baptizing in the wilderness in Jordan. Okay? Yes, yes. But yes. people had to still call upon the name of the Lord to be saved before they came to baptism.